In the previous unit, we created an empty Hecras project and we saved it for Wabash River and imported the terrain data. As soon as you import the terrain data, you can see that under geometries, now Wabash is added here. If you click on geometries and the plus sign next to Wabash, you will see all the geometries that we can create now after we have the terrain now for this module we are not going to create all the geometries we will create only few to create a simple hecras model so in this unit we are going to create the river geometry which will basically define the plan form of the river and mainly we will be digitizing the center line for the three reaches we have as you can see in the handout, what we have is the main Wabash River, which is flowing here from northeast to southwest. And then there is a tributary called Tipikanu River joining. So we can think of these as three river reaches, and we are going to name this as Upper Wabash, this as Lower Wabash, and this as Tipikanu. So let's digitize the center line for these three reaches in RAS Mapper. So to digitize or create the center line, if you want, you can zoom in. So you can use the scroll button on your mouse to zoom in and zoom out. To create the river center line, you will select river and you will see this blue line added here for legend. You right click on river and then you click on edit beta as soon as you do that you will see some option here the first one says add new feature the second one is edit feature and then you can after you have the line you can see the terrain profile and so on so we are going to use the add new feature so make sure it is selected and then you will start digitizing now make sure that you leave some buffer from the boundary to the point where you start digitizing so you don't want to start digitizing here because you may digitize your point outside terrain data so make sure your first point is visible to you and it's inside the terrain data so if you want you can zoom more and click again so i will start digitizing the center line for the upper wabash reach and it doesn't have to be the exact center of the channel as long as it looks somewhat going through the middle of the channel you should be fine and after you reach the junction this is where we are going to end the upper reach as soon as we reach the junction we are going to double click okay and as soon as you double click it will ask you what name you want to give to the river and reach so we know that we are on the wabash river so we will name it as wabash and the reach name this is the upper wabash reach so we will just name it as upper and say okay so after we specify the river and reach name now you can see we have this blue line for upper wabash it is not starting very close to the boundary and it reaches until the junction so in order to save this we can right click on river and say stop editing and it will ask you do you want to save your edits and say yes so this is as long as you did not make any mistake if you made any mistake you don't want to save your edits and you say no and all the work that you have done will be erased and then if you want you can redigitize the center line so say yes and not saving edits is good if you made a major mistake or if you have too many corrections to make if you made small mistakes you can still edit that line after saving the edits okay so now that we have the upper reach let's go ahead and start digitizing the Tipikanu river which is going to be tributary so we will name it as Tipikanu river 
and the reach name will be tributary. You can also see that it is sort of getting divided here. So we will not worry about that. We will just go through one of the channels here. So that is one way you can handle it. And since this is a learning exercise, if you want, you can avoid that complicated section altogether and start your line here. But we will start somewhere here and follow this as our center line. So to digitize Tipikonu, we will follow the same procedure. So you will right click on River, Edit Geometry, and we will use this Add New Feature. So click, 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 click. If you want to zoom in, you can use the scroll button. Now, if you want to pan or go up, you can either zoom out or you can push the scroll button and you will see that once you push the scroll button, you can now pan it and then zoom in and continue digitizing. So I'm going to zoom in more and as you zoom more, you will see this red buffer around your points. So I will continue and once you reach here, you want to make sure that the two end points of the Tipikanu reach and the upper Wabash reach fall inside the buffer and you just double click. Okay. And once you do that, it will ask you to give river name. So river is going to be Tipikanu for this and the reach name is going to be tributary. Say OK and again go ahead and save your edit. So right click on river, stop editing and it will ask you do you want to save edits? Say yes. Now we have the upper Wabash and the typical new reach. We are going to now digitize the lower reach. So again if you want to zoom out and see how far down you want to go. So we are going to go until this point here. Okay, so I'm going to now zoom in. And at the junction, we want to make sure that these three lines intersect. So I'm going to zoom in a little more here and then start digitizing. So right click on reverse, edit geometry, create new feature. So Digitize, digitize. So you can see now that all my three lines are inside this buffer, which means the program will create a junction here. So once I'm confident about this intersection, I can zoom out more and start digitizing the line. And again, if you want to pan, you can push down the scroll button and pan. Like this. And scroll and zoom out. And pan more. So zoom out and continue digitizing and after you reach here you can double click to stop digitizing then it will ask you to give a river name and reach name so river is going to be Wabash and reach name is lower. So this is our lower Wabash and say okay.
okay and let's go ahead and save our edits stop editing save edits yes and since our three lines meet at the junction you will see that the program has automatically created a junction here so in case if you made a mistake and your three lines don't intersect at the junction the program will not create this junction and in that case you will go and edit the points at this intersection to make sure that they intersect with each other and the program will create junction for you so we know now how to digitize the center line this is one of the features that we need for defining the geometry of a river system for Haycrass. After you digitize the center lines and you see the junction, you can open the attribute table and you should see this. So you will see that each reach has the river name and reach name and then the lower and upper they meet at the junction and then you will also see the length of the each reach that we have digitized and the count basically gives the number of points you have for each line and right now the upstream cross section downstream cross section does not apply so you will see those blank and once you see all this then everything you have done should be fine so just make sure that when you digitize your lines you always start at the upstream end and you come to the junction here for the upper reach then when we digitize the lower reach we started at the junction and we went downstream and when we did the tributary we started upstream and we digitized downstream towards the junction so when you digitize center line you always digitize starting from the upstream end and you move downstream and whenever you have a junction make sure the end point of all the reaches that are meeting at the junction they connect or join or intersect with each other as long as you take care of these things digitizing center line should not give you any problems or errors and this is it for this unit in the next unit we will learn how to digitize additional features so for now go ahead and save your project and this is it for this unit